okay here we are going to start partition partition has a very large application in quick sort quick sort is basically based on partition which is very quick that's why its name is quick sort so we are going to show the first method how to do partition okay so this is very simple way uh, consider any of these element as pivot what partition means is something uh, consider any of the element as pivot let us consider uh, four so considering four as pivot so at the end of partition what should have been done is uh, four should have been its uh, come four should reach to its the position where it should belong in a sorted array you know if this was a sorted array the four should have been belong to the fourth position because one two three four fourth position so at the end of partition four should reach the fourth position and uh, the left half of the four should contain only those elements which are smaller than four and the right right part of the four should contain only those elements which are greater than four and we will see how this can get implemented this was the basic introduction to uh, what is partition so let us start so partition actually this is the first way how to do partition and there will be second way which will come in the next video so in this way we simply do nothing just uh, consider this as pivot uh, there is a conventional way of that uh, the first element is considered as pivot uh, you, you can consider any other element also so uh, we are considering four as a pivot so we compare two with a pivot and uh, we also consider one other um, counter that is named just as counter which uh, will have its application and you will know it so let's start so counter and pivot and i all the three are pointing at four right now and we increase i to two we compare two with a pivot that is four and uh, we see that two is smaller than four if 2 is smaller than 4 we will interchange the counter and i okay so the counter is was at 4 so we will interchange these two now pivot always goes with the 4 because 4 we have considered 4 as a pivot so pivot always follows 4 only counter is incremented by 1 for every interchange and it is not in uh, not incremented if there is no interchange that has uh, no interchange has taken place so the counter comes here and uh, the pivot comes here and i goes here because i increments every time so as 6 is larger than 4 so no interchange required so pivot is here counter is here and i goes here now we compare 3 with 4 and 3 is smaller than 4 so we have will have to interchange uh, 3 with the counter so counter was here so we will interchange these two elements and 3 becomes here and 4 goes here now counter increments by 1 so counter comes to 6 this is the place where counter is right now this is the pivot and this is i because i increments itself every time so now this is i now we compare the i with the pivot and as 5 is greater than 4 so there will be no interchange and then we compare pivot with 1 as 1 is smaller than the pivot so there will be an interchange and the interchange takes place with the counter remember this interchange does not take place with the pivot so this will be the interchange that will take place and this will come here and now you can very easily see that these three are smaller than four and these two are smaller than four and four is in its position but this was a case in which four comes to its correct position but sometimes uh, four does not come to its uh, correct position you know you might have at the end of the loop you might have got some this kind of situation hmm. in that case you have to at the end because counter will increment itself to five you know uh, after interchanging counter is here so what in the end you have to do is interchange the pivot and the counter and 4 will reach to its original position so that is a uh, another case this was a case in which 4 already comes to its position and just keep it that in mind also and thank you this is the first way how to do partition thank you